thinking through what do we got is our second question. This was the one that I was most interested in. Who? Imp- yeah. What is this one again? Who improved the most since last season? So uh, back when I, I first got called up to the, the majors after the draft, I took every team's rosters of skaters only. Uh, again, I apologize to goalies. This is the last time I will have to make this apology. Uh, and I got the stats for or the attributes of all the skaters in the league because I wanted to see who I was going to be compared against and what I was going to be facing against. And so I had all the attributes of all those players saved. So I went through each team from uh, just after the draft in season four to just after the draft in season five and counted how many attributes increased for each team as a whole. Uh, Obviously, not every team stayed the same. So if you upgraded a, a player or downgraded, that affected your total. So, so obviously, forwards. Go ahead. So it has the gain in attributes as well as the gain in age. Yep. And and this would account for you know players retiring and, and being traded then as well. If people are looking at this. Yep. Uh, retirements, free agency acquisitions, free agency losses, and of course, uh, drafty call-ups. Okay. Call-ups. So. Yeah. So so looking at this, I mean. Uh, one thing that jumps out at me, Florence, obviously, it says gain of 1809 uh, with with an age of about one year total. Uh, you know, what what's something like, do you know exactly why Florence made this big jump? Do you, was it free agency? Was it, you know, awards, all-star, all-pro progressions? Like, why, why is Florence all the way up there and, and, and Melbourne, Rome and, and Dublin all the way down there? Well, in Dublin's case, it's because they they had to get younger to stay under the cap. You know, it's um, it it proves that the cap did hold them back because they did uh, let some let some good players walk, and as you can see, they did not get as old as the the league did on average, and that was a very intentional decision on their part. Okay, so the le- the league average increase looks like here point eight. Uh, looking at the numbers quick, it looks like about less than half the league, you know, went went above 0. 0.8 by the looks of it. Two, four, six, uh, exactly half the league, I guess, Yeah, uh, went above uh, the, the average. The TPE game is where it's uh, a little bit different, where only four teams were below average. Okay. Uh, because so, two of those teams really tanked it. Sadly, one of them was mine. Yeah, due, due to the loss of, of players, unfortunately, yeah. it looks like. Yeah, I think you and Rome both both had some struggles at the end of the season there. Cool. So so when people are looking at this, t- tell us like like what's the value in in looking at this, you know, next season when you when you come on again to 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 show us what uh, what should people be looking for here? Well, one thing that I would want to look at is how one column compares to the other. So for example, um Florence, sure they gained the most, but San Diego managed to gain almost as much without having to gain quite as much age. I look at that; they're still at a, a 22.78. Uh, they're still in the the bottom half of 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 overall age. In fact, they're half a year younger than the league average. So this Ooh. is a team that is already going to be much improved, and I would expect their progression to still be very strong this year, as they don't have that many old players who are going to be. Uh, progressing just that little bit slower yeah and and when do and and you know let everyone know when does progression start slowing down at what age and what teams are going to be when you see the very first and i believe it's only one week goes from a plus three to a plus two i mean we're talking a really minor change um it's an it's an introduction to aging you know at, at 24 it's not far from regression you're still uh significantly improving it's just the first time you start improving a little more slowly okay so, so and, and las, qu- las vegas ahead, is, re- is regressing right they're not regressing because like i said you're, you're still improving at 24 i mean you you'll keep improving i think until 30 yeah uh, i think I, 30 I is exactly when, when full, full regression oh, start 29 oh, yeah. 30. It slows. It yeah. slows. yeah it yeah. slows down it's it's uh, just that it slows down so um they went pretty pretty hard this year i mean they they got they they were already the oldest team, and made a, a willful decision to get older. So, 
Yeah. This is a and team I- that is really going to go all out this year, I think, because I think they have to know that the the growth is going to start slowing after this year. For sure. Yeah, I think they uh, the, they only made one roster change this season, and it was to for one defense and I believe that defense got a year older plus obviously everyone else on their team. So yep. <laughs> yeah, it uh, Vegas had a good off season for sure. Uh, so, so looking at this and kind of teasing the next episode a little bit, you know, looking at, uh, are we going to be looking at this to, to kind of see how next season's standings predictions will look? Is, is this kind of what, uh, it's, it's what you have in mind? A factor, uh, bear in mind, this doesn't include, where these teams started at right you know it's it's easy to like san diego finished last year as i want to say the uh number 15 second team. last yeah, yeah second last so it, they could have a massive amount of improvement and still only move up a spot or two you know okay um so yeah i didn't want to get too far into predictions yet although i do plan on uh i did put together a poll for the league to fill out similar to how we did with playoffs and, and just kind of get the community's opinion on who's going to finish where so that we can go over that in a future episode. And by then, I'll have a, a little more data put together so that we can kind of talk about who we think is going to finish where. With the goalie data. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. So, th- yeah, this is awesome info. We'll we'll tweet. We'll definitely tweet this out onto our, our Twitter so people can, yeah. can look at this. Uh, on their own time, and, and I appreciate you putting this together, Cushing. This was uh, oh, this you. was awesome. 